On October 18th, just two days ago, Terry Thompson opened the doors of the cages of animals in his care and let them wander out. He then apparently took his own life. As a Vietnam veteran, we cannot know what haunted him in his life. But we do know that not only did we lose Terry, but he caused a chain of events that led to the death of 49 animals loose around the area where he kept them in cages. The Sheriff's Department responded and shot 49 of them. Another five were tranquilized and taken to captivity. The sheriff cited that it was getting dark and he had to round up the animals for safety and also cited a lack of resources. They didn't have enough tranquilizer guns to respond to the emergency and keep the people safe. There was a huge public outcry on the internet asking why did you have to take the lives of the animals instead of capturing them and giving them another chance. I ask this too. I also ask why Terry Thompson took his own life. I also ask why in states like Ohio where this happened, do they have regulations that allows people to keep beautiful wild animals captive that were born to range, to frolic, to play, and to prey? I could answer some of these questions by doing a sociological analysis between humans and humans' cultures and animals. I could also talk about our evolution biology. But you know what, today, not today, perhaps later. I want to keep this question before me about why do such tragic things happen amidst such beauty? And I want to keep that question alive by honoring those who died in this massacre. So I invite you to join me. Like those who fell in Zanesville, Ohio, we too were born to pray. So I invite you to honor those that fell by joining with me as I light this chalice. This chalice, a symbol of the interconnecting light of life that binds us all together in love. May the beauty of these beings remind us of the beauty within and to walk lightly upon this earth in all the ways of love. May this be so together.